welcome back to my channel. This is your host with the most, Bui. And if you are new to this channel, you are most definitely welcome. And could you kindly hit the subscribe button down below to become a member of this family and also hit the notification bell to be notified of every upload I will do in the future. And if you are a returning subscriber, a mind speaker, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, my honey, and I hope you do enjoy this video. Now, um, a quick disclaimer, uh, my voice might not be the normal one that you know. Um, it's because your girl was sick and I'm recovering from flu. So do bear with me, my honey. Uh, okay, as you saw on the title of this video, uh, this video, it's, all, it's going to be all about um how god redirected my steps what do you mean by that really? okay this is what i mean so in 20 in, j in general i'm the person that loves planning out their life when i'm 18 this is what should happen when i'm 21 this is what should happen so i always set myself goals so that's what I did so in 2015 in 2015 early 2015 I had decided now I want well when I started working which was my early 20s I was building my mom a house you know yes I was building my mom a house and Basically, I did not do anything with my money. All my money went to my mom to do whatever she wanted to do with the house. So when I got into my mid-20s, the house was done. And then my mom was like, now this money is yours. Enjoy it, my love. Enjoy it. Okay? Enjoy it. Now, uh, because it's, it's really not in me to be splashing money. Like, I'm not a splurger. I'm more of a saver uh, so what I did is that okay since I'm done with my mom's house let me do what other kids do when they start working I want a car as well yes I want a car so I did not have a learner's or a driver's license yet so what I did that's what I did first I did the learner's license and then I also did the driver's license but uh, I did code 8 because, wow, imagine me, Galuri. Would it work though? I don't think so. So I did it with a small car, which is code 8. Um, yeah, that's what we did. And code 8, yo, ya ding. Ah, your girl failed it twice, you know, because of physical challenges that I have, obviously, and they did not tell me that I can actually apply to do a, 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 a special what what, because I am a special person. Yes, I am. Because I'm a special person, um, my driver's license won't be like any other person's driver's license. And there's a whole lot of other paperwork and what, what, but then they only told me that after I failed twice and because of physical challenges. But then, no, it's fine, we move on. And then, in, in fact, I just let go of that because that's one thing I need to get better at. But then, that's one thing of mine I don't like. When I can't, when I set my mind to something, and it doesn't happen the way I want it to. I just let go. Like, let go. Like, let go. I don't even want to do it again. So that's how I was. And I was like, how can I do this car? How will I get it? Because, ah. And then I just let go of that. But then I knew that I wanted a car. And for me to get a car, I need to get a driver's license. But I was like, okay, you know what? I won't stop saving. I will continue saving. Eventually, I will have that thing again. You know, Hore, okay, let me start again with the driver's license. But then I won't stop um, saving in the meantime for 
for the car. So your girl was saving like 80% of her salary. Like I'm a serial saver, like serial saver. Yeah, very much of a serial saver. So I continued saving even though I had failed, you know, but earlier that year, this is what had happened again in April there was a tender for we bid it for residential land and ugh, I, to me it, it was like something out of my league because when now is still a baby okay i was still a baby I, <laughs> I was still young for me to be a landowner it was something far-fetched so my best friend was like um, because my best friend is actually three years older than me. And then she was like, um, let's try bidding for this. And it was three days before um, a closing date. And I was like, bid for this land, residential sites. Wow, okay. Ah, what, do we, what do I got to lose? We bid it for that. My heart was not even there. I was fixed on my car okay so i did that in april and i even forgot about that and then the driver's license and the learners and the what ton ton, those are the things that happened in july this land one happened in april and i forgot about it so ah the rest of the year and i was like okay i'll start again with the um the driver's license next year because i definitely do want a car for the rest of the year let me just save and then get on with my life okay so came december same year 2015 ah get december boss get a busy date you know hi here i am living my best life in december and then a colleague comes in with a letter i needed to sign and then he says congratulations congratulations what happened when i read out the letter Congratulations, your bid was successful. What bid? Did I get a tender? I don't remember. Uh, first of all, I'm not a tender, Brene. <laughs> okay. What am I successful for? When I re um, continued reading the, 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 the letter, it was actually um, notifying me that my bid was successful for the residential land. I got the land. I'm a landowner. <laughs> and I was like, what? Land? What? No ways. I was shocked. And luckily, my friend also was successful as well. Now we are happy about this. We have to pay it off and blah, blah, blah. Now, this is where the moral of this video um, is at. I was saving up my money every single month 80 percent of my salary towards buying my first car right and i failed at the traffic offices or traffic section and i had just let it go and then i had planned to continue next year and i was just gonna set it out for the year but i continued saving and now this happens so and i needed to pay for my land before a specific time and the only money i had available to access to pay off the land was all the money i was saving for the car so that's how god redirected my steps I saved up for a car and instead the same money I had to go and use it to buy my own land and I couldn't understand I was furious actually because I wanted a car over to me I was furious but my mom brought some light into all of this my mom was like, this is God. God works in this way. That's what you wanted initially, but then he gave you something bigger and better. 
But a house, it's a lifetime investment. So, and I was like, yeah, she's probably right. But I still want my car. I was so torn. But then, as the process was unfolding, only when the process was unfolding, I saw how much of a big deal this was and how grateful I am to have actually started with property before a vehicle. So that's how God redirected my steps. He, he redirected me to property, something of a lifetime before I can buy something that's going to be a liability. So I will forever be grateful to God for that. Because I don't know why I had asked myself so many questions like, I'm still young for this kind of um, responsibility. It's a huge responsibility. I'm still young for this. I don't think I'm cut out for this. But then I kept praying and praying about it and praying about it. And then God once again came through for me. And then today, I'm shooting this video in my own bedroom in my house that I built on the same land that back then I thought I was a kid to have it as mine. So, and if Uzofuna try to crack God's mind, how it works. You will never you will never win. You will always lose. Because it's not for you to 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 to, to try and figure out how God's mind works. When you just have to follow his lead. Because God will never lead you to 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 internet bedtime. No me Here I am today. I'll probably still have my car. And maybe this time, a, a much cuter one. But at least this time, that car, that car of mine will have a garage to, to stay in at my own house. Not in my own mother's house. So that's how God redirected my steps. And he probably saw, maybe I was going to waste money on something that depreciates instead of um, doing something or building something that's going to make me money in the long run. You get what I'm saying? Because with me, everything ex is extraordinary, honey, okay? Mm -hmm. Everything with me is extraordinary because even if I wanted that car and I bought that car, that car was not gonna, that it wasn't gonna cost me the same money as your car, even though we might have the same brand or the same car because my car has to have adjustments on the driver's seat and that's more costs so why spend money on something that's going to depreciate instead of spending money on something that's going to make you money in the long run now that's how i see it but back then I didn't see it like that. Now, the moral of the story is that don't always try to figure out what God wants you to do or how his mind works. He created you. Therefore, he can give you any task and you will just have to carry it out. He will also give you means, tools on how to carry it out. Just never question God's... Um, purpose about your life i tried and i failed dismally but today i'm grateful for what i wasn't grateful for back then i'm grateful for it now so yeah that, that i hope i hope this video 
gets to somebody who is at that crossroads in their life Uguti, this is what i actually wanted but this is what i got well that's how god works you don't always get what you want at the time that you want and of which is it's the right time not your time what you can do in the meantime present everything that you want to god and then let him take control thereafter there's nothing of my life i do not inform god about even when i go to buy a teaspoon when i'm conflicted i'll just ask god about it you know and something will will happen or i'll make a better decision but just inform God about everything and then let him help you with the rest so yes my loves that is today's video that's how God redirected my steps and I hope this video touches you in the way that it should and remember this the 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 aim of this channel it's not to take away from anything or anyone but to inform and educate and motivate and and to inspire and i feel like this was our first video where i am actually tapping into the motivational side of my life because i did mention that in the long list of things that i am i'm also a motivational speaker and i don't think we've ever done a motivational video and i feel like this was our official first one so i hope you do feel motivated or it did motivate you or it will help you make that um choice that you've always wanted to make maybe you're in your crossroads maybe this video it came at the right time and it helps you at the current moment because at the end of the day we may be individuals but at the end of the day the one that gave us life he's the one in charge of that life actually when are you just carrying it out what he wants you to so don't be resistant listen to god listen to god he will never leave you he will never lead you astray so yes my loves until the next video uh, may you always stay blessed and stay beautiful and always speak your mind <laughs>